the sign of Virgo. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Virgo, in the recent past, we got the Ten of Cups and it's with the Ace of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups is one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards that you can get in a reading. Ten of Cups, um, it points to happiness in a more mature, grown-up kind of way. It's a really, really good card. It's the card that everyone wants in a reading. Ten of Cups is the tops. It speaks of a happy family life, even if you're single, and to the overall well-being that goes beyond you, yourself, to include those that you're most concerned about, your parents, siblings, children, your pets, and much more. Also, you could be spiritually fulfilled. That's a part of the picture here, also. So, this is a good card to see, regardless of any question. Ten of Cups is like a dream come true. Now, it's paired with the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, you could have found in the recent past that you were enjoying new beginnings on several levels. And they were very positive new beginnings. So, you probably start to feel really optimistic and upbeat and hopeful about your future. Things should have been going really well. So, you could have been starting something new. Or you wanted to start something new. And it could have been in the area of work or it could have been personally. But either way, it was a really, really good thing. So, Virgos, you had a beautiful, you had a beautiful pass here. Recent pass. Ten of Cups, that's a dream come true. So, you could have been in a relationship where you were dealing with someone where it felt like it was just everything you always wanted. Yeah, maybe you, you wanted a new beginning. You wanted a new fresh start in life. And then you got this great connection with someone. And like I said, it felt like a dream come true. Yeah, so your recent past is, is wonderful. Yeah, so let's see what's coming up for the present time. Now, we got this Nine of Pentacles in the Hierophant. The Nine of Pentacles is one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards in the suite. This can mean that your financial worries, they're over for a while, because when you hear the word Pentacles, that means money, cash, coins, finance, income, and things will be going better than you thought possible. So it's about enjoying this good energy and share your wealth and happiness with others. Nine of Pentacles is with the Hierophant. The Hierophant, with this card, you could feel like you want to start searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great loyal friend when this type of person is called on for advice or help with some important personal matter matters. There intelligence and their empathy puts them in a position to provide a whole lot of support so Virgo this could be you or it could be someone coming towards you or someone you know they'll be quick-witted well-educated wise teacher marked by integrity yeah this hierophant quite frankly they are they are the genuine article the true blue highly Highly admired individuals who walk the walk and talk the talk. They stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. So, for the present time, Nine of Pentacles clarified by the Hierophant. Wow, it's showing like things are going better than you thought possible. If you're already committed, you can expect the relationship to rise to new heights of intimacy and joy. And so... This person is going to, um, if this is a new person, or this could be a new person coming in, or it could be the person you're dealing with already, or someone you know. Yeah, you're going to see them as being really genuine. Yeah, you're going to feel like they're honest and loyal. And when they say something, they mean it. They do it. They walk the walk and they talk the talk. And it's going to feel like things are going better than you thought possible. Yeah, so you're going to enjoy a really, really 
great person and it'll feel like a great time. Nine of Pentacles is good. It's just short of one pinnacle. Ten is the tops. So, and then you can't beat this higher frontier. It's very moral, ethical, traditional. So someone could be coming towards you like this or someone you know. Now, can it be the same person from the recent past? It could be. It could be. Can it be, uh, if you know that you don't date, could it be of... Um, Someone other than a love interest? Yes. It could be a friend or a family member. So let's move on over and see what the challenge is. Challenge, we got the star card and the devil. So the star card, you could find that you're feeling really inspired. And you'll be feeling more hopeful about the future than you have in a while. You could also feel more confident that your needs are being met. Whether it's emotional or financial or both. They're being met. Nothing can be taken for granted, but... It's going to be unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. And this could be a very spiritual card, the star card. So you could find yourself feeling at least for a time at one with all of creation. And that's not a common feeling. So you want to make sure you savor it. Now the star card is clarified with the devil. Just know when you need the devil card, no matter what your situation is. That you always have options to choose from. Don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, you want to make sure you're coming to it on your own. Regardless, it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions that are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You might have the feelings that you're not in control of your life with this devil energy. Sometimes, just know that that will happen as a result of your own actions. But more often, it's a byproduct of inaction. So it's about taking action, whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control. Even if that's just a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Just remember, small baby steps, they're important too. So the challenge, the star card clarified by the devil. Yeah, so this person, this person that's coming across as loyal and sincere they see you like a shining star but the challenge is that you're going to realize this person has a dark side yeah they got some double energy some addictions yeah you're going to start to see that this person has maybe some toxic energy or they bring they bring some to toxicity to the connection. Could be greed, envy, materialism, obsession, sexual lust. So yeah, but they see you as someone that brings them a lot of hope. Yep, a lot of faith and hope. Yeah, any grief that they had of the past, when they're with you, all oh, that's gone. You got somebody that really likes you. Yep, they're going to come across as being really loyal. Moral, ethical, and traditional. But you, you're going to find out that they do have a dark side. Yes, they do. But this person really likes you. You're their shining star. Now, let's see what the outcome is. We got the Queen of Pentacles and we got Judgment. So let's start with judgment. Now this is a card that can be about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and judgments that are too hastily made. So, Virgo, if you know that this is you, if you're prone to doing such things, it's a sign to slow down, give people more thought, give people more chances. It can also be a time of spiritual awakening. Now, Queen of Pentacles is a card that can indicate that you could be spending time and money and energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. Now, this is a good thing provided you don't take on too much debt because people could be looking to you for insight or maybe advice. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. This is a time period when you get a whole lot accomplished. Okay, so what I'm getting for the outcome with this judgment here clarified by Queen of, Queen of Pentacles, 
is that you're gonna be um, passing judgment. You're gonna be very judgmental towards this person because it seems like they presented themselves one way and then you find out well they're they're only human they got um a flip side to their personality also like everyone else they're only human so yeah they present themselves like the hierophant but then they got this devil energy some addictions some obsession um, you find out something that makes you think wow this person is, is not not like they come across so you're gonna be judging them really harshly being very judgmental very judgmental you're gonna have a hard time offering forgiveness so it's gonna cause a make or break period in this in this um, relationship connection like I said, if it's not a love interest, it could be a friend or a family member. So you're very judgmental, and because we got this Queen of Pentacles here, this person, they could, they could start, they're going to make you want to feel more comfortable with them. So they might invite you to their house, try to cook you dinner, make you feel that everything is all right. They're going to want to spend some time with you. And it's pro they're probably going to invite you to their house. Invite you to, a, to somewhere that, um, that will show them in their positive light. And then show that they can be down to earth like this Queen of Pentacles. Caring, sensible. So they're going to try to make it make you more comfortable with them yeah and make you think that or, or make you feel or make you realize that that they're only human they're probably trying to be like the hierophant but they're only human so this person will probably cook dinner for you make you feel really try to make you feel really good about the connection again because they see that you've been uh, very judgmental so they'll be inviting you to their home that's what the queen of pentacles is about home and comfort yeah and they're gonna try to make things right with you you got somebody that really likes you virgo yeah but they're only human so yeah you might not want to be so judgmental because it's going to cause a make or break in this connection but that's the reading that I have for you. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. I will also put a link below of the extent, I'm sorry, I will also put a link below of personal readings if you'd like to try one of those.